What's going on, gang? Welcome to the video. So today I wanna to talk for just a few minutes about some new travel gear that you might wanna consider because the fall season is fast approaching and that usually means a lot of us are gonna be traveling pretty soon to see family for the holidays. And now, even though it's early, it's still a pretty good time to start making those travel plans and to start thinking about some of the items you might wanna be bringing with you. So with that, my name's John, let's get into it. Now, the first thing that I might even go so far as to say that you actually need are some travel cubes. I got these a few months ago. I've traveled with them and I can tell you for me, they're a game changer, especially these mesh ones. So you can actually see what's in each one. I love these things, right? Shirts go all in a big one, shorts in another one, underwear and socks go in a small one. And besides all of that, have you ever packed for like two or three days away, right? And the one suitcase you have is too small to fit everything but then the other suitcase you have is way too big, but you have to go with the big one, but then everything sort of slides around and gets all nasty. No, just me? Anyway, the packing cubes keep everything contained. So even if you do have to use that slightly oversized suitcase, everything stays nice and folded and compact in each cube. You can even put a pair of shoes in one so that none of your other stuff gets all dirty from your shoes. Another side benefit is, especially if you're like me, so shortly after I get to my room, I unpack my entire suitcase hang up what needs to be hung and put everything else in the hotel dresser drawers. I kind of move in. With the cubes, I can just take the whole cube from the suitcase and put it straight into one of the drawers and I'm pretty much done. And they're not that expensive, so if you don't have any, I would recommend picking up a set. Okay, the next piece of travel gear that I would recommend is a battery pack of some sort to charge up your electronics. And this is an area that I'm still researching for myself right now because I'm done trying to find power outlets in the airport because I can never find them, and when I do, they're always full. And if I wait to use the seat power on the airplane, the plane that shows up is older and doesn't have seat power. So save yourself the headache that I've been giving myself for the last couple of years and get yourself a portable battery pack. And I even have a nice suitcase that I can connect a battery pack into and then use the built-in USB outlet on the suitcase to charge my phone or other small electronics. Now this will be something that I buy myself in the very near future because it just always seems to be an issue and it kind of makes me stress out. Air travel is stressful enough and having your own power is just one less thing to stress out about. Just make sure that the battery pack you purchase meets airline requirements for the watt hour rating that they allow. And since we just talked about charging your electronics with the portable battery pack, let's talk for a minute about what you carry your electronics in. So look, I've talked about briefcases and messenger bags before when it comes to carry-on items and other videos. But recently, I've been really enjoying this briefcase from Carl Friedrich, who was nice enough to sponsor today's video. And in all seriousness, even though they are sponsoring today's video, this could very well be the nicest briefcase I have ever owned. I mean, I've got some other soft-sided briefcases that are great for what they are, but this one, even though it is technically soft-sided, it's rigid and it stands up on its own even when it's empty. And this policy briefcase is the product that Carl Friedrich is probably best known for and it reflects everything that the brand stands for. The design is modern, elegant, timeless, beautiful and masculine and incredibly functional. This is handmade in Naples, Italy by a family run small leather goods factory and it's made with Recagni zippers and vegetable tan Tuscan Vachetta leather that ages beautifully. Now I have the optional shoulder strap with mine because I guess I like being able to have my hands free and still carry this. The front slip pocket is perfect for keeping things tucked away, but also easily accessible like your passport or your phone. Okay, I'm gonna leave a special link down in the description box. So even if you're not directly in the market for a briefcase right now, hit that link and go take a look at everything they have and enjoy all the eye candy because I'm sure you'll see something that you like. The next item of travel gear you should consider is a nice DOP kit. So say you're only traveling for a few days and you're trying to carry everything on the airplane. It'll help if you have a DOP kit with at least one clear side panel to help you get through security without any crazy delays. However, if you're going over the river and through the woods to grandma's house for more than just a few days and you're checking a suitcase or maybe you're just gonna do a quick weekend getaway staycation by car somewhere close by, I would invest in a nice quality dop kit. So personally, I have these two, but this is another area that I'm kind of researching because 
Although, I love this one, and I've been using this for like the last 10 or 12 years, I think I like to get something a little bit nicer. However, with that said, if I'm going on a long trip, this is the one that I will bring because it has room for literally everything from full-size cans of hair clay, shampoo, toothpaste, skincare items, vitamins, razors, you name it, it'll probably fit. And I like that it's got individual compartments so I can keep you know, wet stuff in one side and then dry things on the other side because I don't necessarily want all that stuff sort of packed in together in the same compartment. However, that's also one of the drawbacks because this fits so many things, I tend to overpack it and bring more stuff than I actually need. Something in a size sort of between these two is something that I'd kind of like to shoot for. Now, something else I came across a few months ago are solid hygiene products. You can get a solid shampoo bar and even solid colognes. And I kind of like the idea of a shampoo bar that's similar to a bar of soap that you can also use on your body and that packs away nice and small and doesn't take up a lot of space in your adopt kit. Now, because I'm usually the guy that brings my own body wash, shampoo, and conditioner with me on trips, but if I'm only going somewhere for just a few days, I could totally get on board with using one solid shampoo and body bar. I'd have to give it a try first and see, but I thought it was something interesting enough to include in this video, especially because space in your luggage is very limited. Another thing that I wanted to mention is reusable Ziploc bags. So this is where you might store your shampoo bar and also any snacks or food items to sort of munch on during your trip. These are washable, they seal up securely, and they come in lots of different sizes to fit all sorts of different things. You can keep your memory cards for digital cameras in these or spare batteries for other electronics or even all your vitamins for all the days you'll be gone. And this is gonna take up a lot less space than packing all your different vitamin bottles with you. Okay, coming in next is earbuds or headphones, whichever you prefer. I'm more of an earbud guy and I use these ones because they were super affordable, the battery lasts a long time, they fit in my ears very well and they never fall out even when I'm running. So I'm sort of a documentary movie fan and I'll download a few interesting documentaries to watch while I'm on the airplane. I mean, sometimes I'll work or write on my laptop, but space is always an issue in coach seats. So for the most part, I just kind of use that time to zone out on a movie. So having a great quality earbud is absolutely mandatory for me. Now this brings us to what to do with all your charging cables. Now get yourself some sort of cable management solution, preferably something flat that sort of folds open where all your cables can attach without getting all tangled up together. Listen, everything is rechargeable these days and everything comes with their own charging cable. And if you're lucky, some of them are universal so you can use like one cable for two different items. But sometimes we're not that lucky, especially if we have something maybe a little bit older with like a mini USB. It's a good idea to have a solution for all your different cables that can keep everything contained and organized so you never have to worry about where you put your phone charger. Okay, that's where I'm gonna wrap it up for today, gentlemen. But before you go, if you made it this far, please hit the like button because it is a huge help. And also, if you're a regular, comment the word legend so I can see you. And with that, my friends, thanks for watching, live well, and I'll see you in the next video.